Jerry 501 here. Uh, I was doing uh, a little bit of research. Uh, my go-to guy Ace Hoffman always has updated information about what's going on with San Onofre Nuclear Power Station in San Clemente, California. And he does video uh, a lot of the city council meetings. This one in particular took place in Del Mar and which is not that close to San Clemente. However, uh, the issue has been brought up, the problems with San Onofre have been brought up at various uh, city councils meetings so that there would be a little bit more awareness to the outlying cities. And in this meeting, Daniel Hirsch presented an awful lot of great information regarding all the BS that Southern California Edison would was saying that you know all the problems they were having with the tube wear and all that was uh, normal and Daniel Hirsch just blew them right out of the water and said no he showed graphs and showed that that uh, after one year of the after the renovation of putting in new tubing and it cost Southern California Edison millions of dollars that uh, that no it wasn't normal and in it was um, in fact extremely um, irresponsible for Southern California Edison to even want to restart one of these reactors at a lower power wattage and see what would happen. Just see how it would go. See how things would go. Which is a very frightening thing for somebody to say when they've had problems from day one with this power station. So, if you get a chance, uh, please come in and subscribe to Ace Hoffman and uh, take a look at his work. He's got a really, really nice website with lots of information and links and um, he's somebody worth uh, subscribing to. So, I wanted to do a little research and find out uh, what was the outcome uh, of this meeting and basically I ended up going down the rabbit hole here and found this the San Onofre regulators had questions about the dome repairs at the nuke plant so when San Onofre went in to you know upgrade and do all this tubing that was all wrong when they put it in. It was uh, a complete botched repair and that's why they had problems right away after one year, uh, one and a half years, which led to the shutdown. But they did, uh, in order to make those repairs, they had to uh, put a big hole in the side of the dome. So when they went to repair that hole that they had to make, the Southern California Edison made an executive decision to claim it as an enhancement and not uh, uh, closing up the hole for the repair. They called it an enhancement. Therefore, they felt they didn't need pre-approval from the NRC. Okay. So then they went back and realized that, oh yeah, we did need pre-approval. That was after they patched it. So now the question is, is whether or not that patch job that they did was up to federal standards. 
Um, so there are people that are asking for more information on the engineering parameters of the material that was used for the repairs. And so that information has not come forward yet because the NRC has not actually finished um, with going through all of the information that they received from Southern California Edison. Okay, so it just, you know, it just gets, it just gets thicker and thicker and thicker with lies and deceit. And this is after what, in the last two or three years at least, San Onofre has had problems because the uh, people that work there would go to their superiors to try to let them know that there was a problem and they were told to shut up, don't bring it up, and so all these people were afraid of retribution if they if they said anything. So they brought in new managers and that happened a couple of times and this place is just it is just so unsafe. And since San Onofre has been shut down since January 31st, Southern California has had no problems with the alternative, alternative, um, alternative energy sources that we're using for power. So there, there really, really is no big rush. What is the big rush for Edison to have these? one of these plants put back online? Money. Money. That is the bottom line. They're losing thousands of dollars a day here, so plus I don't know how many millions they spent on their repairs and renovations. Okay. So I thought I would, you know, look and see what's going on with the event notification report for October and okay what did I find yeah San Onofre off-site notification due to hydrogen leakage the control room was notified that an unknown quantity of H2 gas classified as a minor coupling leak identified with Snoop liquid leak detector is currently being released to the air from the Unit 2 full flow hydrogen skid. I don't know what that is, but okay. The Environmental Protection Group reported the leak to the California Emergency Management Agency and the San Diego Department of Environmental Health. <clears throat> they did follow their procedures for the spill contingency plan and the hydrogen gas leak is currently still in progress. There is no gas collection areas. Maintenance is in the process of taking action to determine the leak. So not knowing or understanding how dangerous a hydrogen leak would be to the public, I looked it up and hydrogen hazards. And according to this article, hydrogen is flammable and must be handled with care just like other flammable substances. In order for hydrogen to ignite, it must be contained and combined with oxygen and an ignition source. If hydrogen is ignited, it burns off very quickly. Okay. Hydrogen can explode, but only if it comes into contact with oxygen. And then further down here, it says hydrogen is non-toxic and is not poisonous. Using hydrogen as a fuel source does not create fumes, pollute the atmosphere, or contribute to global warming. But now they're saying using hydrogen as a fuel source does not create fumes. But what about just plain hydrogen leaking? Though it says here it's non-toxic. So I'm still not 100% clear as to 
what what this means to the public and uh, San Clemente, Dana Point, San Juan Capistrano area because this says there is no gas collection area. So hopefully it's being released, released up into the air and it's not dangerous. I, you know, I'm just praying that that's what this means. However, you know, I, I, ha I really don't know, but I wanted to put this information out there anyway. So, as always, God bless and stay safe.